Hello there! Have you ever wanted to make a pumpkin head but couldn't find a pumpkin? Well, here's what you do. You make it out of a box. Yeah! A box is man's best friend. That's right. But first, let's make a work drawing. I'll close up the box and glue down the flaps before we start. Now we can draw. Imagine a pumpkin, except more square and box-like. It's got eyes, a stalk, horns, a big mouth with scary teeth, a long sharp tongue, and stripes all over. First, we move the drawing onto the box, one side at a time. Let's start with the eyes. They are almond-shaped and slope slightly upwards. A bit like eyes on a cat. Underneath, draw the mouth. Let's give him a big nasty smile. Next, draw two horns. One on each side. Pumpkins don't usually have horns, but this isn't just any old pumpkin head. It's my pumpkin head! On top is his stalk. From there, all the stripes come out. Like spokes on a bicycle wheel. First on top, then carry on down all the sides of the box. Even across the face. When you've finished that pattern, grab a marker pen and go over all your pencil lines. Strong lines make it easier to paint. Just a bit now, but you have to cover the whole pumpkin. Like this one I did earlier. Simple and great. This is how it should look like before we start to paint it. Paint! Hey, now we can paint it up. To start with, I'm going to mix up a really strong orange color. We need bold colors, so our pumpkin head will light up the dark autumn nights. Take good care around the eyes and mouth, but use a thick brush to paint over the sides and top. Use a broad brush and paint over the marker pen lines. We'll fix these later when the paint is dry. I use acrylic paints. They're water resistant when dry and make the whole box stronger. You can buy this paint in most art and craft shops. Here's one that I made earlier. All painted and dry. Great so far. Get your marker pen again and touch up any lines you painted over. You'll be able to see them through the paint. I'm using a thick and strong marker pen, 
so the lines, colors, and facial expressions have plenty of zing to them. The lines can be rough and ready. This make it look more like a real pumpkin. I'm making the lines thicker around the eyes and mouth, so they look more scary and dangerous. Yeah! Our friend here is starting to look a bit scary. Of course, that's the whole point. Cut! Then it's time to cut. First, get an adult to help you. Then cut along the red lines around the eyes and mouth. Then remove the cardboard pieces. Next, cut out the horns and fold them out. All done. Now you're ready to... Add! Finally, we add the teeth, tongue and a knob on top. Let's start with the teeth. Draw a straight line with a ruler. Then make a zigzag pattern. With every cut, you make a new tooth. Next, draw a long pointy tongue. And a stalk for the top. Here are the pieces, cut out and ready to be painted. Paint the tongue bright red. This looks great next to the orange head. Next, get some green paint. Thin it out a bit with some water and paint a thin wash on the stalk. This color also contrasts well with the rest of the pumpkin. Pop those pieces to one side to dry. Back to the pumpkin and all your triangular teeth. Dab a spot of glue on the edges. Rub them together and press them into the mouth, one at a time, next to each other. I'm leaving a gap in the teeth for his tongue. When the glue is dry enough, it's time to paint the teeth. I've chosen yellow, which will stand out well against the dark mouth. Now the tongue and stalk. Fold flaps for the glue. Dab glue on the front of the stalk and on the back of the tongue. Then stick them on like this. Tongue in the mouth. And stalk on the head. <laughs> Let's watch it one more time. First, draw the evil face on the pumpkin head. Start with a the pencil, then with a the marker pen. Then, paint the pumpkin head in a bold orange. And touch up the lines with a marker pen. Then, cut out the mouth, eyes and fold out the horns. Finally, draw and cut out all the extra parts. Then, paint them in and glue them on. <laughs> you can also turn your pumpkin into a party mask. Cut a circle underneath the box and take it out. Then put your head in the hole. Boom! 
box. Can you come up with any more ideas? How about using the same methods to make other scary heads, like this alien freak? Or this madcap skull? Sorted, as usual. There are thousands of ways you can box yourself. Just use your imagination. <laughs> <laughs>